Hi guys, this is here back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video and today we're taking a look at the decklist that's new to the channel and that is Pure Punk. So Punk, this season has gotten a huge boost and you can now play the deck um, Pure and that complete full power because Deer Note is now in the game along alongside um, Punk Jam Extreme Session and punk jam dragon drive so those three new cards allow you to extend into your punk combos and complete the full line which allows you to set up a strong disruption board using your synchro monsters and allow you to win on turn three with powerful otks and that's pretty much the deck and uh, alongside with a ton of level three psychic monsters which just allow you to add more punk cards to your hand and alongside the field spell that allows you to draw two at most during a turn and give you a free special summon it's a really powerful deck very viable in ranked despite the presence of sprites and more sprites so let's take a look at the deck list so let's start with the punk card so three ukiyo punk sharakusai uh punk sharakusai has two good effects so First is pay 600 life points to fusion summon one punk monster. So that is usually Amazing Carp. So Amazing Carp allows you to extend into your longer punk combos, which allow you to go into Punk Jam Dragon Drive, which we'll explain later and you'll see in the combo videos later. Next is P Gagaku Punk Wagon. So Wagon searches your field spell by paying 600 and... Its underrated bonus effect is when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a punk monster, you can draw one card. So that's one bonus effect if it's on the field, but usually you'd synchro this off. So it wouldn't be that useful, the second effect, but if it comes up, it's really cool. Next up, we have Jururi Punk Madame Spider, which searches the trap card. The second effect isn't really that used or not as useful as the others, but you know, it can come up. But Madame Spider is here for the trap card search. Next up is No Punk Ziamin. This is your starter. This is your main punk card. This is uh this allows you to go into full combo and allow you to just set up your board easily. So no punk Ziamin. Pay 600 to add one punk monster from your deck to your hand. And this also gives an attack boost if you. Uh, if Xiaomi gets sent to the graveyard, which is uh, sometimes a really good uh, effect to have, especially when you're trying to push for more damage and OTK. So it's really good. Next up, we have No Punk Deer Note. So Deer Note, uh, first effect. Allows you to special summon if you reveal another punk card in the hand. You can either special summon Deer Note or the other revealed card. So that's really cool. The, however, it's best effect if this card is sent from the field to to the graveyard, which you, you, usually happens because you use Deer Note for a synchro. You can target one punk monster in your graveyard and special summon it. You can use to revive Sharakusai, so you have follow-up. Or interruption next turn so you can synchro on your opponent's turn but yeah deer note is really powerful really great extender and having two deer note is pretty good you can have three if you're running a very very pure punk but as you can see there's a bit of spice here next up we have no punk foxy tune so foxy tune uh, allows you to Search a uh, special summon another level 3 punk monster by discarding Foxy Toon alongside another card. So it can be any other card. So really handy there. Next up we have No Punk Ogre Dance. Ogre Dance uh, allows you to discard Ogre Dance and add one punk monster from your deck to your hand. So you can use this to add another level 3 from your hand to your hand. So that's really cool. And both level eights have an effect where you can tribute, um, you can tribute a punk monster in field to sp special summon them. So you give uh yourself a level eight body to attack with. So really handy. And next up we have uh punk jam extreme session. So 
Punk Jam Extreme Session has two really good effects. So first one is you can banish one punk card from your graveyard to special summon another punk monster, regardless of level, so that's really good. And if a psychic monster you control paid life points to activate this effect, you can draw one card. You can use that effect twice, so you have two free draws. Kind of a pot of greens field spell, so that's really, really kind of cool. Last of the punk cards, we have Jorori Punk, Nashiwari Surprise. You can target one set card your opponent controls to pop it, or if you control punk monster, it can be any face-up card your opponent controls. Really powerful. And for the extra deck punks, we can just go with our Ukiyo Punk Rising Carp. Rising Carp is Fusion Summon using Sharakuzai. And the best part of the effect here is you can tribute this card and special summon up to two punk monsters with different names. You can summon a level three alongside Deer Note to go into Punk Jam Dragon Drive. And the under the graveyard effect of Rising Carp is if it's used to synchro someone, you can target one punk monster and that punk monster can double attack. So it's really cool. Next is Punk Jam Dragon Drive. Punk Jam Dragon Drive has a pay 600 LP effect to take one level 3 psychic monster from your deck to your hand. Or you can send it to your graveyard. But usually you use that to search Ghost Ogre, which is really, really handy right now. And if your opponent activates a card or effect in response to your punk card, while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. So you have another level 8 body to use, which is a good body for Dingirsu or another amazing dragon or psychic and punisher next turn. Next, we have Ukiyo Punk Amazing Dragon, arguably the best card art among the punks. So if this card Card is Synchro Summon. You can target cards or poly controls up to the number of level 3 psychic monsters with different names to control and in your graveyard. So maximum of like 3 to 4 usually. You can, you can basically bounce the bounce pretty much the entire field usually against most opponents. And its other effect is you can target one punk monster in graveyard and reborn, monster reborn it. So that's really powerful. And level 11 Synchro, does it, they don't come up often in other archetypes, So, but Ukiyo Punk Amazing Dragon is really quite the amazing card. Now for the other cards in the deck, so Hand Traps, 2 effect Veiler for just generic negate, 3 infinite permanents for face-up negate, same as Veiler, 3 maxi because we live in a maxi meta in Master Duel, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, so you can search this off uh, Punk Jam Dragon Drive. Three Ash Blossom because you just want to kill your searchers. And that's for the hat that's all the hand traps. And anti-hand trap, two called by one cross out. Always handy to have. And for the a bit of spice, we have a small tenny package with three Vishuda and one monk of the tenny. The main purpose of Vishuda is to give you a level seven body, seven plus three equals Baron de Fleur or Cheng Ying depending on the board state but usually you want Baron going first to have a free Omni Negate on field. Always good. And lastly I think we have two E Teleport because since you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine psychics that are level three, actually ten, you can just special summon any of them with emergency teleport, whether it be from deck or hand, really powerful card. Now for the other extra deck monsters, we have Draco Berserker of the Tenny, level 8 Synchro Monster that's great for OTKing because it gains attack equal to the destroyed, mon the destroyed monster's original attack and it can make a second attack, so push for more damage. And the Emancipator Risen Dragite is another level 8 that you can summon. Free spell trap negates, so if you have Baron and Dragite, you can pretty much control the game with two really good negates. So as I said, Baron de Fleur, pop and free Omni Negate, always handy. Cheng Ying is great for beatdown, and um, if you banish a card using like the Punk Field spell, you can banish two cards your opponent has, one on field, one on graveyard, so that's really cool. Psychic and Punisher, one of your boss monsters to go into and to deal damage and go OTK. So the effect of Psychic and Punisher is while your opponent has lower LP, has less than or equal to your opponent, well, you, um, this card is unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. So it 
won't die to most board breakers and pop card pop, so that's really cool. And once per turn, you can pay 1,000 life points, target one monster control, and one card your pump controls to banish them. And this can trigger the punk spell, punk field spell, so that's really cool. And at the start of the battle phase, you can make this card gain attack equal to the difference in your LP and your opponent. So if you have lower life points, which you usually do, your Psychic and Punisher has a chance to go big to 6k to 8k levels, and that's really nasty. To round out the extra deck, we have one Fortune Tool. Just two lev uh, level 3, a uh, rank 3, so you can go into Zeus after. Zeus, you know, generic field wipe, so backup play. You have one Salamangrate Almerch to send any of the punks to the graveyard, so you can activate uh, Extreme Session Special Summon effect sometimes. One Mock of the Tenyu, so you can use the Vishuda Bounce, just in case you need it. And lastly, the Gearsu, since there are six level eights in this deck, you can, uh, they're pretty much, well, actually, six, there are ten level eights in this deck that you can bring out, so you can use them to rank up into the Gearsu, so that's really cool. And that's the deck list, so let's go to the replays. There are four replays we have, and that's really cool. So we start with one replay first, and then we have four that show you some of the basic combos and stuff. <laughs> so pretty interesting hand here. So we go with a field spell. I go with Ogre Dance and search Ziamin. I special summon Ziamin, so allows me to extend. I pay 600 and I get Impermed here. So this is unfortunate. However, I can still add. I can still draw a card. I drew it to Foxy Team, which I used to go into Sharakuza to go into a May uh, Rising Carp. And now we can go into Madame Spider and Deer Note. So search the, the trap card and go into, into Impermanence. So it's really cool. We just revive Sharkusei for interruption next turn. I just bring out uh, Wagon. So uh, I can use the effect. We're facing Cyber Darts here. So let's just go into our combo. I negate the Dark Hole because I just want my cards on the field. They go into Cybernetic Horizon, which is a. But they mill pretty weird, so they can't really do their. But they go into Albaz and Cyber Eltanin, but they don't use Albaz's effect, which they can. So I just pop the Albaz and go end phase. So I just use the pay cost to draw. And I decided to just uh, keep my board the same and deal damage because I know I have control of the game next turn. So we just negate this Cyber Dragon core and they scoop. Pretty standard duel. Now we're facing against uh, Spiral with their Sky Striker deck, Sky Striker Therion. I'm a big Sky Striker fan, but uh, Sky Striker Tyrion, maybe not so much. Here's the way to go with my team. Now, this is a pretty interesting hand because, well, Max, they activated Maxi off the rip, which I had to hit with Ash Blossom, so that's fine. And I go into Emergency Teleport, so. Which they ash, which is unfortunate. So I just uh, pass this, unfortunately. I can't really do anything there, but there's a chance they play Sky Striker, so I know they won't be able to deal OTK. So they're gonna go. They're gonna go um, Hayate and Rose, which is weird, but I just stop the mill. So they won't mill into any. They go into Zeke, their board. And they go into Shizuku, which I affect Vader so they can't search a card. So we're dealing with one Shizuku against the world, so that's fine. Now we're gonna have to wish our draws are great here. 
and we drew a foxy tune so that it plays all our compost and we can special summon Sharkuza here, we get the armor. And now we can go into Rising Carp, Rising Carp Tribute, we get Wagon and Deer Note. We go Dragite here, and a special summon Toxicly. And I go into Psychic and Punisher, and I just boost up my Psychic and to go OTK with just one big attack. Because I know Ray is gonna appear in. If I don't OTK, Ray is gonna special summon herself and stop me from dealing lethal. So that's kinda annoying. So, two more duels. So, we're gonna show you this one. Great hand, uh, Xiaomin, Toxitune, and Itali. So, yeah, you can't complain about this hand. So, I just go wild on here, get the field spell, go Xiaomin, go get Sharkusai, and I drew into Vishuda, which I can use to discard for Toxitune. So, I drew two. I go special summon Sharkusai, I go Rising Card. So Deer Note and Wagon again. Go to Drive and Drive so I can get my Ghost Ogre and I go into Psychic and Punisher. And this is uh this is the pre this is pretty much one of the best boards you can make. Psychic and Punisher is uh pretty much hard to destroy unaffected by activated effects. Sharkusai allows you to synchro into Amazing Dragon with Rising Carp, so nasty. Field Spell will allow me to draw thanks to Sharkusai paying life points. Called by the Grave to just negate the graveyard. Imperm, of course, always great. You have Vagor and Imperm, so you negate two face up things here. Uh, Nashiwari Surprise pops a card. Snow Rabbit pops a card too. So I think we're facing. We're facing a uh, sprite here, most likely Deep Sea Diva. So they go into triple tactics, they're playing sprite. So I just prevent Jeff from searching and waiting for them to extend. They go sprite blue, which I. which I Sharku size, so I get to bounce three of these cards. And of course, I negate the maxi, so I don't want this resolving. So Sharkusai gives us Amazing Dragon, the really cool art and animation. So they get Carrot. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bounce three monsters and I'm gonna draw into my... Using my field spell and I'm gonna revive Dragon Drive. So. Yeah, I have to throw this duo and it's really cool. And I pay another 600 to get the Yamin and I draw another card. And I have full combo and I'm just gonna blow up this uh, Swap Frog so they won't extend into Elf or Gigantic. And they get the Frog, they're gonna go Ronin Toadin. And I just decided to pop Ronin Toad in because I don't want it to extend, and that's pretty much their duo. They pretty much had a bad time there. Last replay for the day, and we're pretty much wrapped up. So I hope you like this video. I hope you like Pop. It's a really cool strategy, and uh, I hope the combo videos help a lot. And. Uh, convince you to try playing this deck so this is a replay against a friend so we're just testing so here's the purpose of Vishuda you can go into the Amin we're gonna go Foxy Toon just to get Wagon because we can eat Ali Sharkusai we're just gonna get the field spell I'm gonna go into Baron before I do any of those though 
gonna go Sharku side, pay 600. I got a Rising Carp. Add another Sharkusa. We're gonna go into Madame Spider and Dierno. We're just gonna fast forward. We're gonna draw another Sharkusa, which is funny. I'm gonna pay another 600 and special summon Rising Carp. <laughs> I'm just going for the overkill here, so. Two level eight, so I can just either choose any of these to go into Amazing Dragon. <clears throat> so I get imprint here with Baron, so I can't really do anything. So I'm just gonna let this uh, activate. And they're gonna go Monk of the Penny to try use the Shuda, which I cross out. Funny enough, I have cross out. So they're negated. They're gonna go into Shaman of Tenny. They're gonna activate Sword Soul Emergence. I'm just gonna synchro this <clears throat> and bounce their field. One, two, and draw a card. I drew Maxi. So they're gonna negate my Maxi. However, their Vishuda is negated, so I can't. They can't really do anything. And this is pretty much the win. So we're gonna go Psychic End here to finish the game. And we're gonna revive Pump Jam Dragon Drive. And we're gonna get the Omni just for fun. We're gonna draw into Field Spell just in case we get a Deer Note. <clears throat> we're gonna special summon Foxy Tomb. We're gonna go into Big Gears for rank 8. And this is pretty much OTK. Let's make our Psychic End big. The amazing dragon can double attack, but we finish with Psychic and Punisher. And that's pretty much the gist of how Pop plays. It's a really powerful synchro deck that allows you to even Xyz and Fusion, uh, which is really, really cool. I do hope you like this deck. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I really love this deck. It's really powerful, really strong tier 3 rogue contender, and... Really great for rap because it has a lot of gas and allows you to combo into a lot of cool stuff and allow you to win a lot of games. Once again, if you do like this video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That would help the channel grow. Or even leave a comment if you have any suggestions on what other ways to run punk because there are many other punk variants. But I chose to pick pure here because I wanted to show you guys how it all works. So... Once again, thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. And once again, thank you so much and goodbye guys.